Andrew from Chem Tools, and today we're going to be testing a cylinder head for cracks with our non intrusive penetrant die test kit. Now, this is a, a unique Chem Tools product, it comprises of three parts. I'll just take it out of our little packaging here. It comes uh, shipped in a convenient little box. We have one, the developer, the die penetrant and the prep sole for cleaning the surfaces off of the product. All three will be shown in detail. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, prep sole, which is the cleaner and degreaser, which is going to remove any gunk and grime up on top of our cylinder head. The way we use this, we're going to spray it on. And as you can see, that's dislodging any garbage. removes any oil as a solvent, you can get in the way of things. If you've got a lot like I have there, you might want to run it off a little bit. A handy hint, you can actually run it off onto a piece of cardboard. As you see that gets it nice and clean. Give it a little wipe. This particular cylinder head is off a VN Commodore. I think it's a right hand side one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a right hand side one. Okay, so when we get it all nice and clean, like that, all the gunks come off on the rag, so we put that aside. And then we're going to go to our die penetrant. Now this needs to be left on between 15 and 30 minutes to see if there's any cracks. You should be wearing gloves when you're doing this. And we'll let that soak in for 15 to 30 minutes. So we'll be back very shortly to see if we've got any cracks in the head. Hi, back again after our 30 minutes of wait time on our, our head, and this time we're going to give it a bit of a clean with the prep sole and the rag. This is just going to remove the excess dye. Around the areas affected. You've got to be fairly meticulous about this to get most of it off. The idea is that any of the dye runs into the cracks and when we put the developer on, it should spring to life. Okay, so I've removed most of the um, dye penetrant. Now we have our developer aerosol. The can recommends you shake it for about a minute. I've shaken it off camera for about two minutes, so there's plenty there. And we're going to give it a nice light coat. sit for a couple of a couple of minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes and we can see the results of our crack test. What's happened now the developer has turned the actual head white. Now where you find your cracks is where the dye penetrant has dripped into the cracks. And you can see there there's a crack, it's about three inches long, right around that inlet valve. There's another crack there, again in the same sort of area in the valley. That's three inches long there. You can see there's a couple of other little cracks starting to form. They're not going to go well on the video, I suspect. 
there. And you'll see there's also a defect which is appearing down there around the valve. You can see another little crack there. Uh, basically means this head is scrap and they're going to be unsuitable unless you can alloy weld it. Now this has probably saved us an engine rebuild. Uh, typically these cracks are very small and you can't see them with the naked eye. Uh, so if you bolt it all together you'll end up with oil and water leaking and mixing. Uh, so buying a chem tools, a dye penetrant test kit is probably going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars. Another quality chem tools product.